of a child in the way he should go. Should we let our children run wild? Train of a child in the way he should go. People, should we allow our children to just watch television 24 hours a day? Train of a child in the way he should go. Or give them a video game or your phone to play with while mommy do work or daddy do work. Train of a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. He won't depart from it. Now what is it that we're supposed to be training our kids? What is it? 2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. For everybody that's hearing the, my voice, here's our sole purpose of living, of being put on this earth. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep His commandment. The, the conclusion of the whole matter, when it comes down to everything, what is it? Fear God and keep His commandments. You have to have fear for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and fear for our Almighty. Fear. We must fear His judgments. And what? And keep his commandments. What? And keep his commandments. We don't just fear God without keeping the commandments. The commandments are not done away with. One of the commandments is don't celebrate Christmas. That's a commandment from God himself. Not to celebrate it. But guess what, sister? We've been brainwashed. Yeah, I agree. Right? A majority of the time that we do spend, we spend it in front of the television. Maybe because we have, we work a schedule where that's all we can do for the kids. To shut them up. Sit, sit there and just sit down and watch the TV. No. I'm not I, saying I, you. I'd rather have my daughter read a book. But our kids don't want to read. So if you put her to read a book and there's a television, you might come back and see her watch it. Yeah, and I turn it right on off. And when it's December time, what's on TV? Gifts. A lot of gifts, toys, for the kids. And when the kids come in and say, I, uh, I want this dog hopping. Mommy, I see the dog hopping. I see the dog barking. I want a dog. Or I seen the man break dancing. I want that man that break dances. Toys. What are you going to say? No. The, yes. The majority of parents, do they say no? No, because here's the thing, we're not talking about individuals here. We speaking to our people. That's right. See those people on that sign? Yeah. The majority of those people on the sign celebrate and love Christmas. That's us. Watch this about children. Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Sister, listen to this. Yeah. Watch this again. Watch this again, bro. Watch this. Train up a child in the way he should go. Should we let our children run wild? Train up a child in the way he should go. People, should we allow our children to just watch television 24 hours a day? Train up a child in the way he should go. Or give him a video game or your phone to play with while mommy do work or daddy do work. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. He won't depart from it. Now what is it that we're supposed to be training our kids? What is it? About what? Bring it out. About what life? About what does it mean when you say about life? <laughs> what is it? When they get adults. Okay, what could help you to survive, or kids to survive? 
you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Watch. Deuteronomy chapter six and verse seven. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Teach them diligently unto thy children. What is the them? We gonna find out. And shall talk of them when thou sittest down in thine house. When you have free time, spare time, you sit down and you talk to them. You talk to your kids about the them. We're going to find out what the them is. And when thou walkest by the way, and when thou lies down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as the frontlets between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and on the gates. And on the gates. Watch this, sister. You see your brothers down there? What are they doing? Is that what we're supposed to be training our children to do? No. Why not? Why not? Because to them it's good. Correct? But watch this. Give me Proverbs chapter 16. Um, 3 or 4. It says clean. But, but to them it's right. To them it's good. They know it's wrong. You sure? Watch this. I think it's in the fourth in the way to survive. It said clean. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 2. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes. Read that again. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Whatever a man does in his own eyes, it's right. It's correct. It's pure. In his own eyes. You understand? You understand, bro? You're a funny brother, you know that? You're a very funny brother. But I, I, I've seen your type before, so I'm waiting. You understand, bro? Whatever it is a man does at that time, when he's doing it, he's right. He's right, he's correct. In, in what? All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirit. But it's God, it's what God says. He's the one that decides what is right and wrong. Right. Not what is in your mind. You understand? Brother with a smile, you understand? I don't want to be disrespectful. What's your name, bro? Patrick. Patrick. I'm your right. What's your name, bro? Randall. Huh? Randall. Randall. How you doing, Sid? What's your name? Shia Asia. Shia Asia. My name is Uriah. Read that again. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. You know what's in the man's mind? In his mind? Do you? Tell me some of the things that men think about. Oh, women. 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 Let's talk about women. women. In a man's eye, in a man's mind, really every woman that passes by that looks revealing, that dresses revealing, in his mind he should look. Right. Is that correct? Well, hey, watch this. Is that right? No. You yeah, see that? But see, he has a butt. You see that? It depends, because you know females Females do know what they they wearing. Of course they do. Because they gotta look in the mirror before they go out the door. Exactly. Uh, of course they do. And they make sure that it's set right. Right. They make sure that a little bit of cleavage is showing. Mm -hmm. They push that thing together and they make sure that that, that shirt is down a bit. Or if they got pants on, they make sure that that backside is it's set so right in those jeans. Yeah? Yes, yes. Since if you don't do it, your friend does, but guess what? Even if it doesn't set right, those jeans make your sh your figure show. Which is for who? <laughs> who is your figure for? For your man. Tell me. How you sh your curve? Who is that for? I say it's for myself. For, your for yourself? For your man. Your man. I don't have a man. Do you have children? I have a child. It's for his. It's for the father. And because here's the thing. In today's society, sis. All men and a woman don't get married. But if you had a child with a man, that should have been your husband. Because what? God honors that. Let's get that. Watch this, sister. Remember, remember, the ways of a man's mind is right in his own eyes. He, he believes that it's right. So if he has 10 women and leaves all 10 in his mind, it's right. Right. Because you know what men talk about? Women. We like to talk about how many, especially when we're younger. Yeah. We like to talk about, yeah, I, I got 10. Oh, you stupid, man. I, I'm on 20. I hit that. Yeah, we, that's what we talk about. I hit that. So maybe women don't know. Maybe they know. They don't care. 
But in our minds, that was correct. Right. That's what God says. Watch this. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. God honors marriage. So guess what? You should honor marriage. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. Are you married, bro? You have kids? What happened? You never read this. Watch. Marriage is honorable in all. Because I bet if you knew that God honored marriage, you would have gotten married. And you would have tried to work it out. Because regardless of what happens between a man and a woman, there will be problems. But that don't mean the first problem you get, you run. That's not what marriage is about. I agree. How is it that two souls are going to come together and they're going to agree on everything? Here's how you agree. If this is involved. Remember we talked about training up a child in the way that he should go? Give me, um, how you doing boy, you listen? Hey, give the brother a flyer, you listen. Listen, check this out. After you, after you, after you. Give me that in, um, give me that, watch this. And then we are gonna read about the woman and the man. Because here's something that our people don't know. In marriage, there's responsibility for both parties. That's right. And there is not only responsibilities, but there is instructions for both parties, right? If you're in a classroom, you're in a classroom, right? And you are not the teacher, who are you? It's, it's automatic. But if you're not the student, who are you? The teacher, correct? Because in an environment, in a, in a situation, there's always responsibilities that each person has. Right. You understand? The woman and the man are confused in marriage. They don't know how to be married. A man and a woman does not know how to be married. Right. Why? Because the television tells you how. Right. Watch this. Bring it oh. out. Chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers. So the aged woman, a woman that understands a bit more, she should be what? Start again. Not false accusers, not given to much wine. Start from top. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. The aged woman, a woman that understands a bit more about the scriptures and life, she should be holy. What does holy mean? What does it mean to be holy? Praise your father. Huh? Praise the Lord. Praise the Father. What does it mean to be holy, bro? Oh, you still just listening? You talk to me, man. You talk to me. What does it mean to be holy? To be myself. To be yourself. You are holy. Yes. Okay. We don't talk about that. Yes. Read. Romans chapter seven and verse twelve. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy. So when it says that the aged women should be holy, it means that she should be keeping the laws of God. That's right. right. You understand? Go back to Titus. Titus chapter 2 and verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers. Here's one of the, the holiness. Being a false accuser, not going around gossiping and being a false accuser, lying. The aged woman should not set that trend. You understand? She should be doing right. Don't worry about it. It ain't the first you smell that. No. Read. Not false accusers. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine means she shouldn't be drunk. Read. Teachers of good things. You gotta teach the good things. What are the good things? The laws of God. That they may teach the young women. What? That they may teach the young women. They have to teach those young women by their examples. When it said that the aged woman should be holy, keep the commandments, the young woman is the main topic. Because she's got to teach by examples. Right. Read. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. Also, with their actions, if you are drunk, if you're a mama that's drunk, your kid's going to be drunk. Right. If you're drinking and taking drugs, eventually those kids are going to be taking drugs. Teach, uh, you understand? If you're smoking weed in the house, guess what you're telling the kids? That it's okay. Bring it out! You understand? Read that part again. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands. It is a job. 
It is the job of the mother to teach the, the young woman how to love their husbands. Right. If the mother today don't have a husband, how is she going to teach her daughter? If the mothers today are single parent households, how are they going to teach their daughter how to love a husband? Right. Because yeah. guess what? That is not common knowledge. To love a man is not common knowledge. Especially today, I'm going to hit the television like it's it, like you never heard it. What do they teach us how to treat the relationship on TV? You watch Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guess who the young women, women following today? They're about the dollar. They're not about the house. They want to go to the club. You understand? When a, when a woman has a child at 16, she haven't seen life. Right. And guess what? She has that child, you know what she does? Looks for the grandmama. Or her mama. Oh yeah? Because, you know why? Because you're not thinking about that side. And not thinking about majority. I'm not talking about you. You might do it different. But the majority of her sisters today, or young sisters today, they still want to party. They still want to go to the club. Right. When that kid touch five and that woman is 21, she about that life. She want to be in the street. She might not be with that same man. So guess what? She want to have men. And she going to dress to attract those men. It might not be you, but look at that sign. <laughs> the African, the, Af the American black woman, does she want to stay in the house and take care of them kids? I'm talking about a 21 year old. No. Well, most of them don't. Okay, that's what we're talking about. Them Jamaicans, them Trinidadians, do they want to stay in? Hell no. They want to party. They want to go to Carnival. Bring it on! You understand? They want to go to the West Indian Day Parade. Right. You think they're going to have the baby on the arm? No, they're leaving that baby with grandma. And I'm going to party. And guess what's going to happen? They're going to meet a man, they're going to get drunk, and he's going to hit. One more baby on the way. Right. Read what you got. Titus chapter 2 and verse 4. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Uh-oh. Sister, do you know you have to be taught how to love your kids? You didn't know that? My what? love is unconditional. I'm on, sis. That, that, <laughs> I, don't, I, I can't speak for everybody else. But I can speak for myself. Here, here's, here's something that, watch this. I'm going to show you something. Give me Deuteronomy 20, um, 22 verse 5. You have daughters? I have one child. It's a girl. It's a girl. Watch this. Remember, you said, I, the Bible said that you have to be taught how to love your kids. That's a, We just read it. Go back to Titus. Titus chapter 2 and verse 4. That they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. The age woman's job is to teach the young woman how to love their children. But you said it's con um, con unconditional. unconditional love. Listen, that's what they told you on the television. No. What does that mean? What does unconditional love mean? And I have love for my child no matter what happens. Sis. I, I'm, I'm being honest. I, I know you are. I, but I want you to think about what you're saying. Unconditional love. Unconditional love is how you love your children. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Because remember, your job is to lead by examples, right? In your household, you are that age woman, correct? So you should be teaching your, your daughter the right thing. Which I do. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It's talking about a woman and clothing. Watch this. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Now it's talking about the man and their garment. Right. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. You know what this means? If you're in the wrong clothing according to God, you're an abomination. Did you know that? So me wearing pants. Wait, 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 wait. Did you know that? No. No, I, you didn't. But I have a question for you. Yes, I know you do. Me, me wearing pants is an abomination. 
Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman. Who's that talking about? You, right? <laughs> shall not wear. What does that mean? Shall not wear. Okay. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What clothing pertains to men? Pants. Sisters. So you know. And guess what? Guess what? Remember this. Give me back Proverbs. You, uh, you weren't here when we read it. You weren't here when we read it. You, you were here when we read Proverbs. Watch this. 16, verse 2. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. In your own heart, eyes, your own mind, what you do is right. What you do is okay. What you do is correct. True. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. But the Lord weigheth the spirits. But God weighs the spirits. He decides. Read. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Commit your works, your doing, unto who? And then do it without right. rebuttal. That's right. Without rebuttal. Right. Not what this brother in purple is saying. Whatever he says out of that book, that's what you should do. Right. Yeah. Read that again. Right. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. Only way your thoughts are established or if they're in cohesiveness with what God says. Right. You understand? If God says, Deuteronomy 22 verse 5 once more, the woman, if God says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. If he says it, what should you do? Remember sister, you didn't know before. That's okay. That's why Christ died and we have grace. But now you know what you're going to do. Now that you know better, now that you see what God says, what are you going to do? Bring it up! And don't worry, my brothers are next. It's just because it went that way. But I'm going to talk to my brothers. You understand? Because the ways of man, guess what? Are not his ways at all. The ways of man are of this society, which is controlled by who? The white man, right. the so-called white man, because he's not white. In the Bible, he's known as Esau. He's known as Edom. You understand? So the ways of man today is controlled by one nation. That is the white man. Wherever he goes, he changes the custom according to what he believes. Right. Esau's your brother, right? Whose brother? Um, got me right now, but I know he's the brother of uh, Jacob. Jacob. All right. He tricked him right out of his uh, brother. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Just like a woman should wear pants, a man is not supposed to wear a dress. That's what I did with Kanye West. Oh, 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 but guess what? Kanye West came on TV that day with that leather dress on. Guess what? Just like the woman, when they first put pants on, it was a weird thing. Now it seems like a weird thing for a man to wear dress. Give it 15 years. It's going to be the norm. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org